Welcome to our probe into the world of dietary supplements. Today, we are focusing on one of the most talked about supplements in recent times, N-acetylcysteine, or NAC for short. Exactly why did the actions of the FDA lead to its dramatic withdrawal from sale in the US for a significant period? With it now back on the shelves, why is its popularity at an all-time high? So, is NAC a health hero or a fitness foe? It's time for the supplement sleuths to dive deep and crack the case. What exactly is NAC? N-acetylcysteine, commonly known as NAC, is a supplement form of cysteine, an amino acid that's critical for producing antioxidants. Our bodies use cysteine to create glutathione, one of the most powerful and vital antioxidants that protect our cells from damage and support overall health. NAC isn't just a random supplement, it plays a crucial role in replenishing these antioxidants and maintaining our body's defense systems. History of NAC as a Supplement NAC's journey began in the medical field long before it became a household name as a supplement. It was first used in the 1960s as a medication to help treat chronic respiratory conditions like bronchitis and cystic fibrosis. By breaking down mucus, NAC helped patients breathe more easily. Its antioxidant properties were later found to have broader applications, leading to its adoption in treating liver toxicity, particularly in cases of paracetamol, acetaminophen, overdose. The science behind NAC The science supporting NAC is robust. Studies have shown that NAC can increase glutathione levels, reduce oxidative stress, and improve immune function. Its ability to replenish glutathione is significant because this antioxidant is involved in various processes, including detoxification and immune response. It helps ensure the mitochondria stay healthy. NAC has also been researched for its potential benefits in mental health, with some studies suggesting it could help manage conditions like depression and bipolar disorder by modulating glutamate levels in the brain. The FDA Controversy Concerning NAC Despite its well-documented benefits, NAC has not been without controversy. In 2020, the US Food and Drug Administration FDA, raised concerns about its status as a dietary supplement, citing its prior approval as a drug. This sparked confusion and concern within the supplement industry and among consumers. The FDA's stance led to the removal of NAC supplements from some major retailers. However, as of 2023, NAC was back on sale and remains so in 2024. The regulatory status of NAC remains under review, with ongoing discussions about its classification and availability in the USA. Benefits of NAC NAC's benefits are numerous and varied. Let's break them down. Respiratory health NAC's ability to thin mucus makes it a valuable aid for people with chronic respiratory conditions. It can help clear the airways and improve lung function, providing relief for conditions like chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and bronchitis. Liver health One of NAC's most well-known uses is in treating liver toxicity from paracetamol overdose. By replenishing glutathione, NAC helps detoxify the liver and prevent severe damage. It's also being studied for its potential to support liver health in non-overdose situations, such as chronic liver diseases with promising results. Mental health Emerging research suggests that NAC may have a role in mental health treatment. Its ability to modulate glutamate, a key neurotransmitter in the brain, indicates potential benefits for conditions like depression, bipolar disorder, and obsessive-compulsive disorder. Immune support NAC supports the immune system by increasing glutathione levels, which can enhance the body's ability to fight off infections. During cold and flu season, it is said that it supports good health and helps people avoid more severe infections. Detoxification Beyond the liver, NAC aids in the body's natural detoxification process. By supporting the production of glutathione, it helps neutralize toxins and protect cells from damage. This makes it a popular choice for people looking to cleanse their bodies from environmental toxins and pollutants. Healthy aging Aging involves oxidative stress, inflammation, and cellular damage, which NAC can help mitigate due to its potent antioxidant properties. This is a fascinating and complex subject and the supplement sleuths are investigating. 
there will be a separate video on this report about the benefits, the science, and the facts about using NAC in helping support healthy aging, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Who might benefit from taking NAC? Given its wide range of benefits, NAC can be helpful for various individuals. If you suffer from COPD, bronchitis, or other lung-related issues, NAC could help improve your breathing by thinning mucus. Those with liver issues, whether due to medication, alcohol, or other factors, might find NAC beneficial for its detoxifying properties. If you're dealing with depression, bipolar disorder, or OCD, NAC might offer some relief as part of a comprehensive treatment plan. Research is continuing into NAC's role in helping these conditions. Immune-compromised individuals, NAC can boost your immune system, making it a good supplement for those prone to infections or looking to enhance their overall immune function. Health enthusiasts, even if you don't have specific health concerns, NAC's detoxifying and antioxidant benefits can support general wellness and longevity. Forms of NAC supplements Capsules are the most common form of available NAC supplements and come in a range of strength starting at 600 mg. Tablets are also available in similar dosages, but some people complain they have an unpleasant taste. Powder. This can work out to be a more economical choice. The usual dose is again 600 mg. Liquids. There are a few liquid NAC supplements on the market and come in lower strengths, so you would need to take more to hit the 600 mg dose. Aerosols. Again there are a few available, but this is quite a rare form. One thing to note, NAC does have a strong sulfurous odor, which some find off-putting. Capsules are the least affected, but it can still be present. How much NAC should you take? Determining the right dosage of NAC depends on why you're taking it. For general health and antioxidant support, typical doses range from 600 to 1,800 mg per day, commonly divided into two or three doses. Remember, more isn't always better, and the correct dose can vary based on individual health factors. Potential Side Effects While NAC is generally safe for most people, it's not without potential side effects. These can include nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. In rare cases, it can cause rashes, fever, and liver problems. It's also worth noting that because NAC can thin mucus, it might not be suitable for people with conditions that make them prone to excessive mucus thinning. Remember, this video is for educational purposes only. It's always important to consult with your doctor or other healthcare professional before starting any supplement regimen. Our conclusion. After investigating NAC from multiple angles, it's clear that this supplement offers a multitude of benefits supported by scientific research. NAC is safe for most people, inexpensive, and effective for a variety of health concerns, ranging from respiratory and liver health to mental wellness and immune support. Despite the regulatory uncertainties, the evidence leans heavily in favor of NAC being a valuable addition to many people's health regimens. Whether you're dealing with specific health issues or looking to enhance your overall wellness, NAC could be a beneficial supplement to consider. As always, consult with a healthcare professional to ensure it's the right choice for you. So, based on our investigation, NAC stands firmly in the good guy camp, offering significant health benefits with a well-documented safety profile. As research continues, we can expect to learn even more about this versatile supplement and its potential to support health and well-being. We'll keep our eyes on developments in the science and update you as more evidence comes to light. Have you taken NAC? Do you already take it or are you planning to? If so, we would love to hear about your experiences in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click the bell icon so you never miss the Supplement Sleuth reports on all things nutrition. Your support means the world to us and helps us bring you more great content. Stay healthy and happy and see you in the next video.